welcome to the first video of the dream slash sleep starter pack so inside this dream slash sleep starter pack right we first need to learn what is true sleep and why we actually sleep so what is true sleep true sleep right is when you completely go unconscious so if you sleep for eight hours right at some point you should completely go unconscious like if you sleep for eight hours with no dreams you have no dreams for all eight hours you don't see black for all eight hours at some point you see nothing you feel me so that is true sleep and it's when you experience nothing right that you actually get rest so why do we sleep we sleep in order to get rest but let me explain this a bit deeper let me make sure, let me make sure i didn't go through nothing oh i forgot to say this you can consciously go unconscious you can consciously go unconscious you can consciously observe nothing you feel me therefore if you were to master that ability right which you would do through meditation then you could consciously go to sleep whenever you want you could be sitting here and be like oh time to sleep you feel me instead of laying inside the bed and just hoping for your body to just fall asleep whenever it does this shit you feel me so yeah now why do we sleep we sleep in order to get rest now why am i saying this because when you are awake right you are awake and aware you are perceiving the outside world and the inside world you feel me and all of that shit takes energy you feel me how does this shit work we have outer senses and inner senses so we have a peripheral nervous system right which is our outer senses that interpret the outside world through our five physical senses and then this gets communicated to our central nervous system that interprets and internalizes all this data and processes that data and stuff like that you feel me and then there's a response either a thought a feeling an action something like that happens you feel me and all all the sensory information right according to the egyptians gets communicated to the heart and neurocardiology is starting to prove this and that whole entire process takes energy because when you're processing information all that shit takes energy you feel me so you are a focal point of awareness you are a soul that's what a soul is a soul is a focal point of awareness if you don't understand i have a video called who slash what's the true self true i have a video called who slash what are you the true self the soul and the personality and I also have who slash what are you as a light being you feel me i'll put those both in the description so with that being said you are a focal point of awareness you are a soul and energy flows from your soul to your physical body and stuff like that but your soul gets its energy from the true self and stuff like that you feel me now with that shit being said your soul right well you have a, um you have intelligence right human beings have intelligence you feel me and we mainly function and we mainly use our intelligence by functioning with our intellect now with that shit being said our intellect our intelligence that shit gets tired you feel me because that is what processes information that's what's actually doing that shit now i want you to see this shit real quick it says that the brain right the brain receives two million bits of information every second but can only process 134 bits of data a second so i did a whole bunch of math and shit a while ago and pretty much the information that you receive in one hour would take you two years to fully process that shit and the information that you receive in one second that two million bits right it would take you about four hours to process all the information that you got with inside this one second so all the information that you get right now to actually process this shit would take about four hours but you only process 134 bits of that of that um two million so you're not processing everything it gets filtered it gets uh del uh delete distort hold up delete distort delete it distort it ah oh, shit pretty much it gets filtered you feel me you filter it through all the different to get your thoughts beliefs I don't, you filter it through all the different shits and then you get the experience that 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 is communicated to you so with all that shit being said right all that processing information deleting distorting generalizing all that deleting distorting and generalizing all that shit takes energy so when you go to sleep right when you become aware of nothing energy no longer flows from your soul to your body it's flowing from soul back into soul because it goes from true self to soul to body so and it goes like that when you are aware of the outside world and of your inner world you feel me when you completely shut those off you go completely unaware you stop observing everything right 
it's no longer going from true self to soul to body. It's going from true self to soul back to true self to soul. And then it's just like a fucking loop. You feel me? And therefore, your intelligence will recharge. Your intellect will recharge and stuff like that. And then when you wake up, you should be able to think better and feel better because your intelligence, right, will uh, deal with your thoughts and your feelings and stuff like that. You should be able to act better also. You should have more willpower also because when you are able to think better and feel better and you are able to know more, you should be able to act better off of what you already know. So that is why you sleep to re you, you sleep to recharge your intelligence pretty much and your willpower. You feel me? That's why you sleep. And true sleep is when you actually observe absolutely nothing. Because we need that true sleep due to the fact that simply me being awake right now, every single second that's passing, I'm receiving two million bits of information. But I'm only processing 134 bits. And even though we may not see bits as that, because bits is only what? That's only 2 million bits is about 0.25 megabytes, you feel me? So that's significantly less storage than your phone, you feel me? But still, so let me let me let me bring this to the to the phone storage shit. You you get about 15 megabytes per minute, which is about one gigabyte per hour, you feel me? Which is which is around 24 gigabytes a day, you feel me? So you receive about 24 gigabytes of information a day. Some people's phones don't have 24 gigs. Some niggas' phones have 64 gigs. You feel me? But my whole entire point is, though, that's a lot of fucking information, though, you feel me, that you are receiving at one time. And like I said, the information that you get within one hour would take you over two years to process. The information that you get within one second takes over four years to process. I mean, it takes over four hours to process. Well, about four. I don't know if it's going to be over four or less than four, but it's around four hours to process. You feel me? That is a lot of information. That is a lot of energy. That is why we need sleep because our intelligence and our intellect processing all this information and shit like that. Oh my God, that's so much energy. Using our senses, oh my God, so much energy and shit like that. When you observe nothing, oh my God, no energy. You use no energy and stuff like that. And if you could consciously go to sleep, you could get rest whenever you want. You could just go like, mm, and be good. Practicing meditation will help with that shit. You feel me? And um, yeah, that's it for this video. Let's catch you in that next video. Like this one. Comment, subscribe, share. Peace. Peace. Thank you.